I'm Les Wilkinson with the law firm of Wilkinson & Magruder. I'm here with Andy Magruder, my law partner, to discuss with you some new issues and things going on with the Social Security Disability Law. And one of the things that are very, it's very important is the change that the Social Security Administration has made in what's called the listings. And so, Andy, why should we be concerned with the listings? Great question, Les. Well, Social Security uses a, a five-step sequential process to determine if a claimant is disabled. And what they ask first is, is the person engaging in substantial gainful activity? In other words, are they working and making a certain level of money? The second question is, do they have what's called a severe impairment, which is an impairment which can affect their ability to do work? The third step is they ask, does this claimant meet a, or equal a listing? And a, Social Security has basically looked at all the body parts and the body systems, the orthopedic, the mental, the cardiac, the sight, the senses, all the body systems that we have, and they've set forth certain objective criteria. And if a person, based upon the medical evidence, meets certain objective criteria, then they meet a listing and are deemed disabled, and Social Security doesn't look at whether they can do their past relevant work or if there are other jobs they can do. Now, what changes has Social Security uh, made to the listings over the last six to 12 months, Les? Well, they've made several significant ones. They've made changes to the mental health listings, which include depression, bipolar, post-traumatic stress disorder, things of that nature under the mental health. So they made it more specific, therefore more difficult for people to qualify for disability based on those mental impairments. Also, for physical impairments, they've changed their neurological impairments listings. So they've made it more difficult for you to qualify based on your neuro neurological symptoms. Same thing for the immune dise diseases such as HIV. They've made it more difficult. So, and they've had other, other changes in, in the various listings. And there are about, I think, maybe 14 categories of listings. Uh, you know, from head to toe and neoplastic diseases or cancer. So by making these changes, they just, uh, they really tighten up the way people can get Social Security disability. And I don't know whether they're trying to wean people off the rolls or maybe get people to go back to work. I don't know, but it does affect your claim. So if you got a claim, uh, it's important to talk to someone who knows about the listings. If you don't meet a listing, maybe you could equal a listing, but that's going to require medical testimony that you equal that listing. So it's important uh, when you have a claim for Social Security Disability, you get a hold of somebody that does Social Security Disability law. Uh, you know, don't ask your neighbor to help you or something like that. Get a hold of a lawyer such as Andy or myself, and we'll be glad to help you. But you got to give us a call. So. And I hope these, uh, this has been interesting to you, and there are more videos coming up, so stay tuned.